Why does the BRS two-part dosing bundle have three parts? Why is Tropic Marin All for Reef one part? Why is the super popular balling method three parts? And why in the name of Ariel's voice box do we still refer to all three of these as two-part. Traditional two-part dosing refers to some sort of calcium and some sort of carbonate, usually calcium chloride and sodium carbonate, more commonly known as soda ash. As stony corals grow, they consume the calcium chloride and the soda ash, converting it into calcium carbonate, which is what their coral skeletons are made up of. If this was the entirety of the process, then this truly would be two-part dosing. But corals consume other major, minor, and trace elements. Usually all those other elements can be replenished via water changes, but over time there will be a buildup of calcium chloride and sodium carbonate getting the chemical makeup of your water all out of whack. So we have learned that instead of adding your typical two-part solution of calcium chloride and sodium carbonate, we should ideally be adding the proper ratio of all major, minor, and trace elements. This is where the three-part balling method or Tropic Marin's All for Reef come into play. Don't get me wrong, your standard two-part solution is still a great option for most tanks, but by adding magnesium and those other trace elements, you're keeping your water chemical in a better balance overall. Traditional two-part dosing is only one of the methods for replacing your calcium and your carbonate. Purchasing something like the BRS Pharma packs of calcium chloride and sodium carbonate or a liquid version like ESV B Ionic are the traditional ways for two-part dosing. When combined with weekly water changes, you'll be able to replenish the major, minor, and trace elements with this method. The second method is the traditional two-part method we just discussed with the addition of magnesium. Magnesium is absolutely crucial for coral growth, but it's consumed at a much slower rate when compared to calcium chloride and sodium carbonate. But this second method does offer a more balanced approach than just the traditional two-part alone. The third method, Kalkwasser, is a somewhat popular one-part dosing method. Kalkwasser is usually added to your ATO reservoir and is especially helpful for increasing your pH. Most Kalkwasser doesn't include trace elements, but you could rectify that problem by just adding a trace element supplement. Kalkwasser can and will cause buildup on your pumps, so cleaning them with citric acid from time to time is really important for their longevity. Next up, you have two-part dosing with the addition of trace elements. This is actually a four-part dosing method using the BRS Pharma Balling Method Package, an inexpensive yet comprehensive method for dosing all of your major, minor, and trace elements. It is a bit cumbersome with four separate parts, but if you have a large tank absolutely stocked to the brim with stony corals, this will likely be your most affordable and balanced option available. The fifth option is your standard balling method. Named after its creator Hans Werner Balling, this three-part dosing method is a balanced approach for dosing all major, minor, and trace elements. The sixth and final method is actually a one-part calcium formate solution with added trace elements. By far the most simple method on the market today, Tropic Marin's All for Reef is the primary example of this. This one solution will dose every single major, minor, and trace element and in the correct ratios to boot. We have three choices for you depending on your needs. For those of you whose primary concern is budget, the BRS two-part pharma calcium and alkalinity starter package is for you. Pet peeve alert, this two-part solution is actually a three-part solution because of the added magnesium supplement. But you will need to add the magnesium only every so often, so on most days, it is pretty much a genuine two-part solution. This package includes three mixing jugs, pumps, funnel, measuring cups, and the powder calcium chloride, soda ash, and magnesium. It's super easy to mix at home and either dose daily by hand or to set up dosing pumps. Our second choice is still super affordable, yet more balanced with the addition of trace elements. This is the BRS Pharma Balling Method Package. It's basically the same thing as the previous option, but with the addition of trace elements with Tropic Marin's Part C. With this package, you would dose calcium chloride, soda ash, and Tropic Marin's Part C every day and add your magnesium supplement as needed. But by far and away, our most popular two-part dosing method is actually the one-part All for Reef by Tropic Marin. If you have a 100-gallon tank packed to the brim with stony corals, this is probably not the most affordable option for you, but for the rest of us, it is the perfect solution. You can purchase All for Reef pre-mixed, but we recommend buying 
buying the dry supplement and mixing it at home to save quite a bit of money. I love All For Reef so much that I actually run it on all of my tanks. I only need one dosing pump per tank and the BRS jugs are a perfect size. Just as an example, my Reef Octopus Lux 90 Mixed Reef tank only consumes 12 milliliters of All For Reef each day and my goodness, look how packed it is with corals. Mixing up a batch of All For Reef and setting up a dosing pump will take you all of 15 minutes and Thomas will show you how to do it all. And as always everyone, thanks for watching. Happy reefing, be well. We'll see you next time.